Hello everyone, this is Ruth the Crafter Mom and we are going to do a recap for the month of January to June on my vertical planner that I use as a journal and a creative space. Uh, if you want to check out what I did during the first six months of the year, stay tuned. Okay, so I just added these cute um, cover to my planner um it was originally on my franken planner but uh, i didn't like it i don't know why so i added it to my you know creative planner and so it's cute it's live love posh and i got it during the sale that they had so i got it for like a really really good price i really wanted this crocodile style on my planner and i didn't think it was gonna look cute with the pink rings but it actually does i i'm thinking that maybe eventually i can do something with gold rings but gold uh gold rose rings but i think this is cute i love it oh and then you know this one so i chose this planner because i really like how the insides were they are very um they're very uh, let me show you they are very uh neutral but i also like the rings and the flowers and i got it on uh the fall release i really love this it's it's really cute i wish it didn't have the 2023 but yeah we're gonna leave it like that okay so let's go and check out the whole planner i have this i made this and they're still on my uh etsy page um, I think I'm gonna have a sale for this one because it's the uh, they're already almost you know we're already 2024 so I think I'm gonna you know put like a 50% sale or something like that so stay tuned uh, and this one uh, my name came from uh, Jarvie um, I have a code and I'll put it in the in the description and then I have my word of the year here that is consistency and it's been really hard to really apply this word through the year I haven't really been consistent and so I'm thinking that I didn't choose the right word even though I think I needed that this year but it's been a kind of a weird year in between you know celebrating the first year that my mom is no longer with us and me getting super sick especially during uh like may and all may so yeah it's it's been crazy um my allergies were out of control i had to go to the doctor i was a whole month of non-stop coughing i finally stopped coughing and yeah that kind of took a toll on my planning and my videos and all that stuff so I wasn't consistent so I'm really hoping these uh, next half of the year I will be able to um, work this word for me I have these on my Etsy page as well if you want to check it out and this one and I just put like four things that I wanted to do so on my girl personal i put read every day which i'm doing i haven't done the coursera classes i even forgot i just remember that so i need to do that and read my bible again i am starting to do in this again i family and relationships spend designated time with my family call my dad daily and monthly dates the monthly dates i didn't i haven't done it in the last two months and I think it was in between being sick and a lot of things happening um, that I didn't do it but I hope I can start doing them again this month uh, I've been calling my dad not every day but we've been texting every day so that counts for it at least for me and I spend time with my family so if you tell me that I have to plan or do stuff related to social media and I have to be with my family, I will take my family. Today, actually, I can say that 
that's not going to work because I decided that I need to catch up with all these persons, this all this stuff that I've been doing in order for me to dedicate more time to my family in the days that will come after this. My finances, be constant with budget planning, work on monthly goals. I've been working on this and I have to be honest, I still need a lot of growth to do on them. Um, <clears throat> I was able to save some money but I had to use it because of some financial ch financial changes. So hopefully I can start saving again money. Uh, my business and social media, YouTube, it's silly scene. Weekly, I would, I cannot do weekly. Like, I think this was a very crazy goal. I cannot be weekly doing new content, but I think I can at least do once a month or something like that. So we'll figure it out. And then daily plan schedule. Uh, I've been on and off on that. So like I said, I need to work more on my word and I think it will work out. So then I have this free page and I just put pictures of my family and my loved ones and I love it. Um, very cute. What else do we have here? Oh, oh my God. I have this page that says grateful for and I put what I'm grateful for. You know, I got this from Plan with Sara and I love it. It's so cute. And then I should have put more stuff here. Like I, I got this from her, but I never, never wrote anything. I think I'm just gonna do something with this and I will show it to you guys. Hopefully this month, if not next month for real. Then my annual goals. This was a plan with Elise, um, free uh, template that she gave us on her patrons. And it has like goals. I can say that my goal number two, it's already achieved. I start my YouTube channel. I'm checking my emails daily. It's actually crazy, but I am. And I am doing this. My goal number three, I'm about to finish goal number four. I'm not gonna do this one. I know for a fact the listings. Um, I'm yes and no doing this. I started to do this. Um, I want to achieve this. I had it and then I had to drop it, like I said. Um, I am doing this, but I am not using my budget planner. I'm actually really not buying too much uh, planner supplies. I am trying to see do I want it, do I need it, and if it's only a want and not a need and I, you know, don't really need it, I am avoiding it. What I'm doing is I just put stuff on my cart and, and then I leave it there. And for me, that was shopping. <laughs> uh, monthly dates, yes, we're working on that still. Then I have my birthdays. I didn't update all of them. I'm very bad with birthdays and I need to update. This is my family's birthdays and my special occasions that I also have to update them because I didn't even put like stuff here. So I'm bad, but I need to do it. Then I had my wish list for, I did this with uh, some stickers from LTL uh, Print House uh, and I love them. Um, I really, I really liked it. Um, it's, it's really cute and I left it here on purpose so I can remind it. Then I have my packing master list that you saw on a reel so that I can use whenever I travel. And that was for the first time that I traveled to Peru this year in March. And I did this with stickers from Califa Plan. These two are from Califa Plan, by the way. Uh, this was a page for the spring release that Happy Planner had, very simple and everything, but I wanted to uh, see if I could get stuff. And what else do we have? My memory keeping and creative journaling. What the what to add when you're stuck list. I like this. Uh, planning with Sarah, I think she still has it as a freebie on her links on her uh, Instagram page, so you can go and check it out. It's really nice. And whenever I don't know what to write, I really go through this and check out one of the prompts and see what it applies. Okay, let's go to the main planner really quick. Um, I really don't write anything on these pages and I know I should. I think one of my goals for next year is that I have to utilize the perpetual calendar 
just because I have a lot of stuff going on, you know, like doctor's appointments and stuff like that. And right now I have two doctor's appointments and I don't remember the time. And I've been looking like crazy for stuff and now I will have to call the doctor and ask what time is my appointment because I don't remember. So I have to go through that. Okay, so this is January currently. In January currently, uh, it's cute. It was stickers from different um, Etsy shops. Uh, we have Plan with Sarah, Planet Darby, Caitlin Plants, and this one. Super cute, super like wintry. And then we have my monthly calendar, but I think they are stickers from um, I think it's Calafa Plan. I might be wrong. I know this ones are Calafa Plan. This is Calafa Plan for sure. And this ones are LTL uh, Print House and this too this this very cute i really like that um and i like to do this um it helps me actually map up my my plans for the month uh, let's see okay so there was a page here and it's tape because it's the last page of them of the of the year and i had done it on my previous uh planner for the last year so for me my planner starts here it's so cute um well, I actually planned with um, my stepdaughter that day. That's so cute. I don't remember what we planned, but we planned. She came with all her stickers and stuff, and we just sit down and talk and plan. Uh, oh, this is cute. This was a sticker, uh, um, sticker day uh, week. And I use uh, stickers from... Um, Live Love Posh, very like a summer spread in a winter, I have to say, but I wanted to make it happy. Like look little planners here, that is so cute. I love this ones. I don't even know, like I don't remember even having this little one. So cute, so cute. Oh my God, this has to be one of the funniest ones that I've done and I like it. This is my bagel spread and uh, that's funny because uh, uh, Planet with Bumble posted as one of uh, the ones that she likes for the month from her patrons and uh, I love it. I love it that she love it uh, because it is not a, my regular kind of planner. You know, it's a lot of bagels but it's cute. These are stickers by uh, Caitlin Plants and look it says that that was you know the YouTube channel is up and running this day. Oh and then uh we finally had a manager after like two months without having a manager at my store so that was amazing and then that's when i also bought my ticket to peru Ooh. oh i was dying to do a spread for jam for like a whole year and um i look everywhere for stickers for jam and i couldn't find it if you don't know who's jam jam is a cartoon from the late 80s and this girl has these earrings over here and she just like craft them like she touches them and she changes to this fab fabulous clothes and she becomes a singer um, her real name is Jerica and she has her friends over here and then some uh, like uh, enemies over here that they are from another band uh, and I, I don't know, I, I loved that show when I was a kid. I wanted my sister to be named Jam. My mom told me no. I don't know what was wrong with the name Jam, but she didn't like it. She wanted to go with another name. So I use stickers that I made myself on my, um, on my Canva app, on the Canva app. And then I also used stars that they were perfect. The colors were amazing. It was like if she did that on purpose, I think, uh, from Darby, from Planet Darby. Look at this. And I, like I said, I think, uh, yeah, I said at the beginning, the link will be for her store with my discount will be in the description. So you can see it. She has all this stuff. Like, I love it. It's so like popping and everything. And for a winter, like month of like for January, that is a winter month. This was kind of happy. And then we have currently February. 
and i think this was my second uh youtube video and i love it i did it with planet darby flowers um all all is planet darby actually even the boxes it's so cute i love it what happened that month oh i was made watching how i met your father on hulu that's cute that's cute and oh i was reading this girl from colleen hoover dave's new job my husband got a new job oh okay february this is kelva bland for sure like i recognize these stickers anywhere and i like what i did like i put like washi all over these like skinny washi from the happy planner and it makes it like so cute and uh, like a different kind of uh valentine spread but still with the colors of valentine um this was i remember a challenge from uh plan with sarah that she wanted us to use her stickers from her new collection in February. So I use it all this. And she even has hearts for um, functional stickers. And I love it. This one, it was like, it's my favorite. How she's kissing the guy. And I put like some flowers and everything that she made. Beautiful. Love it. Love all of it. Like, look, look at those flowers. I love it. So cute. Even this. Everything is from her shop because she wanted us to use 100% her shop and I use all of this. So cute, so beautiful. And I like the way that I like fill up everything. Okay, and then we have this one. It was for Black History Month and all the receipts been, were uh, for benefiting uh, the Black Girl Smile if you purchase those stickers from Caitlin Plants on um, that month of february and uh, i don't know if she still has them on her store i think she takes them out temporarily uh, but i love them uh, i love the you know the quotes i love the flowers that she used with the colors of black history month and i used to also the colors and everything uh what else did i do oh that was the first day waking up early when i was waking up early like at six in the morning or something like that i stopped doing that i couldn't do it anymore oh and that was the week of the super bowl where the eagles lost by rihanna yeah rihanna gave me anxiety like i put that rihanna gave me anxiety she gave me anxiety with a pregnant belly and her doing all the stuff and the floating thing i was having mayor anxiety <laughs> with that okay so then we have the week of valentine's and it's so pink and cute and it's all stickers from um caitlin plants all her flowers and everything i'm sure she still has them on this is so cute so cute um oh that's the week that gabby got sick so my daughter got sick and we didn't know what was happening she was just throwing up and everything and she was very sick like we, we didn't know like she kept she throw up for the whole day of saturday she had a pj party and we had to cancel it so um and then sunday she was very sick still with stomach ache throwing up couldn't eat we didn't know anything and but and i put gabby's much better on the 20th because she seemed better but her stomach was still hurting and then the 21st we realized that she was she had COVID. We don't know how she got COVID. We probably think she got it at school, cause um, we cannot we cannot figure it out anywhere else. Uh, none of us had COVID uh, at that point. And funny enough, if you can say funny, we didn't got COVID. She uh, wasn't contagious, and we were like especially me because I'm her. So you can say like this and sounds a little crazy her primarily caretaker because my husband used to work at night so i was the one taking care of her like especially over the weekend i was the one taking care of her because my husband works used to work in the weekend so 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 um i didn't got sick and we didn't got sick but we had to take her to the hospital because the stomach pain that she had was so severe we were starting to think she had older stuff 
and finally they told us it was COVID in the hospital and she has to had to stay there for like a couple of hours because they had to put her on IV just to get sure she was hydrated because she was she was dehydrated already it was really bad what a week and this was the week that i think i did a video uh for the week like the whole week it was a plan with me uh through the whole week video and it was with the new jersey flowers from caitlin plants i think all these uh all these plants all these month of february was Ka uh caitlin plants look caitlin plants Caitlin plants, Caitlin plants, um, and I love it. Uh, and I use boxes from um, Mojo Jojo plants, um, uh, Go Wild sticker book. I really, and it like went cr great with the flowers. Okay, that's the whole month of February, and this is March. And because I was traveling, uh, I used these uh, stickers from Plant with Sarah that she made about traveling also which is fantastic so i'll just put everything i was traveling um to peru to celebrate my sister's wedding that it was march 2nd and um i was like you know a little overwhelmed about my mom being uh, gone for a whole year you know uh my mom died uh the 22nd of march so it was like a whole year and uh we were a little overwhelmed also about that uh my family and it was good that we were able at least to spend um like four or five days together and we were able to celebrate my sister and at the same time celebrate my mom's life cute i like it different from the stuff that i usually do uh and then i have my march and i did a video for this and it's my my most liked uh most liked and most viewed video on youtube um and i love it i did it with stickers from happy planner so in march i decided that i needed to start using my happy planner stickers more often because i really haven't i was using a lot of etsy stickers not that it's nothing that is something wrong with it uh but i wanted also to incorporate at least once a week uh one uh thing with happy planner because i have so many happy planner stickers and then when they release a new one i keep using uh keep buying them so i really need to do that and i did this uh just because some uh spring was be uh gonna be somewhere around here <laughs> somewhere around here i think this 22nd was summer begin summer spring begins so i did it in, in honor of spring and i love this bicycle i'm so obsessed with this bicycle i love bicycles i don't know why and i don't even know how to ride one okay so this was uh my week of march the first week of march and this march first week of march has two pages actually um i explain in a little bit so i did this and i was doing a video and then i don't know what happened i didn't like it i think my neighbors were doing so much noise that i gave up uh it was bad so but i you know i decided to finish you know doing it not in a video just to spread to take a picture and this was for the week that i was traveling to peru for my sister's wedding so i did a week of plant stickers uh and i love it look how cute i didn't write a lot because I didn't have time to write a lot but then uh, I did this spread that I did actually as a YouTube video and I had to speed up all this process obviously because it's a lot it's more of a like a crafting than uh, planning this part um, and <clears throat> this was with stickers from a uh, planet uh, I'm sorry let's plan with Sarah and we had to do like a flower fantasia team and this is what i came up with and um so i had i have another planner that every so often when i need to use more pages or when i make mistakes i just you know grab the other planner and i was able to glue these pages to make it like a double you see 27 27 and it's so cute i like it and that's the week that I was in Peru. So I really didn't write too much this. I wrote uh, 
when I came back home and I wrote like, just like my dad, it wasn't even in war there. This is a spread that I made for women's um, day. And it is with stickers from uh, Caitlin Plants too also. And um, I love them, I love, I use this, they're flowers and then these ones are another ones that are for women's day with the stickers for women's day. And uh, I see that I watched Daisy Jones and the Six. Uh, and then I've been napping apparently a lot. I think every time I went back from a trip, I was very tired. Oh, and I watched the Oscars and I cried apparently from them. I, I have no idea why. Oh, I watched this movie. If you've never watched this movie, everything, everywhere, all at once. You guys have to watch it. It, it won best uh, best movie. It, it like it. It took almost all the prizes on the Oscar night and um, amazing movie. Really enjoy it. Um, oh, and I read Finding Me on that week, and this is an autobiography by Viola Davis, one of my favorite books uh, of the year so far, and. If you want an autobiography, I recommend you to read this. Finding me really, really good. Uh, then I did a mix between Darby stickers and Happy Planner for St. Patrick's Week. And I did very like St. patrick -y. <laughs> I like it. Like, look at the stars. Those are from Darby. And then we have all the shamrocks and everything. I love it. Oh, and then we had a St. Patrick's dinner on Saturday. Oh my God, we eat so much. So my husband's family are Irish. So we celebrate that and we go to the parade and everything every year. This year, I don't, I don't think we went to the parade. I think it was cold or something. Something happened and we didn't go to the parade. Well, the parade was this week. I don't remember, but we'll check it out. Oh, and I made chicken soup. And so, crazy, but I have never, oh, it's getting very dark outside. Um, crazy, but I've never made chicken soup before. And my dad makes the best chicken soup ever, according to my husband. So I kind of copied his recipe and we loved it. So now we have to have it every so often. This was a spread for the week of the anniversary of my mom uh, passing away. And I did it with these stickers from Darby um, that are about grief and everything. And I think they were perfect because they spoke to me, like especially this one. Grief is the price we pay for love. Um, let it hurt, then let it go. When you're happy, you enjoy the music. When you're sad, you understand the lyrics. A broken heart still beats. Make peace with your broken pieces. Each one of those stickers speaks to me in different ways about how do I feel. And I know, uh, I know people, f you know, I, I think I'm going to stop the video for a little bit because it's getting dark so I can bring a light. I'll be back. Okay. And we're back. Okay. So yeah, I had to put a light. Apparently it's, it's getting really dark. Um, even though it's just only 3 p.m. Uh, apparently it's gonna rain around here. It's just bad. So I love it. I use some flowers also from her full true uh, flora, true color flora uh, release. Cause I think it went good with uh, the spread and what was the vibe of that week. Um, I just even wrote myself a note uh, take dear me, take things slowly, don't push yourself and others out of their comfort zone. Life is not easy and sometimes it's better to cry and just be. I wish I could tell you it'll get easy, but it doesn't. I still feel the same pain as day one and it's gonna make me tear up. So yeah, it's, it's, um, I needed to express myself and I feel my planners let me, let me do it in that way. Um, uh, we had a Girl Scout cookie tasting, so amazing. Uh, I was able to get up with a friend and had coffee. Um, it was a good and 
Yeah, it was, it was uh, I even took a, me a, uh, a mental day. Um, it was a day after my mom died. I really needed that. Um, and I was, I, like I put, I'm grateful for my boss and being so nice with me because she understood it was really hard with for me. Like, I don't think I took it that day. It was this day that it was harder than this for some reason. Okay, and then we go to this week. Uh, we found out uh, over Instagram that one of our dear planners, uh, Planner with D, was diagnosed with uh, breast cancer. And I made this spread in honor of her with stickers that they were gifted by uh, Crafty Planner Queen. Uh, and I love it. Um, so they were all dedicated for her. And I just put here that I found out I'm going to Peru again. Excited to see my family, but worried about them too. And I was going because they were gonna get a, um, a surgery uh, in April. And it was like a last moment decision. They really needed me uh, to take care of my sister's dog <laughs> and my niece. Because my dad was going to get a back surgery and my sister was going to get a hysterectomy. So um, they needed me to, to help them out. And I am grateful I'm able to do those trips and go and spend time with them. You know, it was nice. Uh, and that was Gabby's first sleepover. Oh my God, those girls didn't sleep. <laughs> they kept me up the whole night. And this is my currently for April. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. I use a sticker from Happy Planner. This uh, was perfect for the whole vibe of it. And it was with uh, also stickers from Planet Darby and her new True Color, uh, True Flora colors and her uh, butterflies that I'm obsessed with. I love butterflies. And let's see, what I was doing this month, listening to country music while we cook cook okay yeah my husband loves um, country music we were celebrating my daughter's 11th birthday um oh god that was a lot of stuff okay and i made it with stickers again from the happy planner using tanya garcia's collaboration book uh and i love it it's like because i was traveling i thought it would be a good idea to do it with a traveling sticker book uh, and it's so funny and colorful. Look at it. Look at all those little stamps. I love them. Then we have this. Um, it's so cute. I love the bunnies. And these are stickers from uh, Caitlin Plants. And I did it for Easter. And I think this was my last spread during her PR team. And uh, so, so cute. I did like a gratitude uh, space here. And I use washi and uh, quotes from um, Amber Plants Her Day sticker book. It was a faith sticker book that she has, the first one. Very cute. Then I, oh, this is one of my favorites. I, I love Digger, I'm obsessed with him. So I made this spread using Digger sticker books and this is i think the week that i was going to brew over here so i took my planner actually so i can write down stuff so i was writing on the go all of this stuff no i didn't actually i left it here and i took another planner just to write down everything so i won't forget <laughs> but it's cute like I had sushi with a friend. My sister had her surgery and it was a success. My sister went uh, back home on the 15. Uh, and then uh, I think I went back to Peru that Sunday. And then I made a spread with uh, Earth Day uh, stickers from, um, Oh no, I actually, I was here, I was there. Yeah, this was the, this was the trip that I stayed 10 days. What the heck am I talking about? I didn't go back that day. So I went back this Sunday. 
and like I had breakfast with a friend that I haven't seen in a while and then I had like a pizza night with other friends and we were like talking we just stay at home and then on Thursday we went to eat with my dad we had a date it was daddy daddy and daughter's date <laughs> and he invited us to eat to an Italian restaurant where my sister had her reception for her wedding and it was delicious um, it was my mom's birthday the 17 also uh, she would have been 73 uh, that year and I did it with stickers from Planet, Planet Darby from uh, her Earth Day uh, stickers because it was the week of Earth Day the 22nd uh, and then uh, so I was back I got back the 23rd I was home I traveled the 22nd at night and arrived Sunday in the morning and oh my god that trip was uh it was good and bad so then we have the week of my daughter's birthday 11th birthday her birthday is the 25th that's why i put the big cake there and i did this spread using stickers from caitlin plants uh birthday stickers from this year that's so cute i like the colors in this so cute and letters from calipa plant <clears throat> um i was reading carrie soto oh and this was the first zoom meeting that we had with my sister for her book club and i'm so so proud of her when she did that uh we went to watch the super mario bros for gabby's birthday with some of her friends we went to the movies we ordered food we were fancy that day uh and then i had this one so I went completely out of my comfort zone. Something that I will never do will be doing splats by itself and use them as an accent for the boxes. I've never done that. And yeah, I think it's cute and different from what I do. <clears throat> um, what I said, uh, so my dad was having a surgery actually. So he didn't have it in April. He had it in May at the end. So I wasn't gonna go back because I had lost a lot of days at work. And I just realized that I listen to a lot of jazz music because I have it for this month too, also of July. And I, I put that I was reading The Girl with a Pearl Earring. I never finished that book. I have to try that again. I have to finish that book now that I see that. Uh, I didn't plan on May's page. This was when the whole debacle start of my health and everything, going back from Peru and birthdays and all these things. It was so crazy that it took me a while to get adjust. I had this uh, and it is May 1st and it's with stickers from uh, Planet Darby. And uh, these are like one of her first stickers that she made. <coughs> Oh, look, I made uh, stuffed peppers with my mom's recipe. I really like it. It was different. Uh, a lot of work. Boba tea and French croissants. We went on a little. So every so often we get little adventures with my husband and my daughter. And we go places like to eat, places that we'd never uh, go. And uh, that was one of those times that we did that. And that was the coronation day. Also here at the 6th, I woke up mad early at 6 a.m. to watch it. Uh, then we have Mother's Day, Mother's Day week, and I did it again with stickers of Planet Darby. I like her stickers so much. They're one of my favorites. She's one of my favorites um, Etsy uh, sticker book, uh, stickers, um, people, whatever. <laughs> Seriously, my English today. <clears throat> and I made something different. I just put here how my week was, my mental health, my happiness. It was a little down actually and how much tired I was. I don't think I had a good good time. Though I did have a good time on the 14. Not only because it was Mother's Day, I FaceTimed my family and we talked like for two hours, I think on FaceTime about anything and everything. Um, we had a photogra photography lesson, photography lesson, I'm sorry, when the girls counts and um, they enjoy that. Um, Oh, look, I finally have my Peruvian ID. So, I did, so I've been living in this country for 
a while already, okay? And my Peruvian ID got expired and I never renew it. And I had to renew it because I had to vote for Peru because I'm a citizen from Peru. And my, it was so expired that I was able finally to renew it. And now I just have it and it has even the address that I have here and everything. I was procrastinating at its max proof of that. This was a spread that I did on YouTube and it was a back planning spread. Uh, it spread, I mean, and I did this on purpose, like the big stickers and everything, because we were already on the following week, I think, and I didn't remember a lot of what was happening. So sometimes it happens, and I have to go down to memory lane and I figure it out with other planners or stuff that I've been doing. I check out Instagram to see what I did, uh, so it takes me a while, but um. I prefer it to be big stickers so I didn't have too much to write on and I love it because I love stitch it's so cute uh, then we had this one um, it is with I think live love posh live love posh and ha happy planner stickers Her, these are so cute I use co quotes from them and these big boxes um, and I had uh, the Trader Joe's horchata ice cream, which was delish. And I had to stay home uh, this day, I think, because I was uh, my back. I, I was having a lot of back issues back in that month, uh, and I was starting also to get sick. Like my allergies was getting worse and worse at that point. I also had uh, El Cosimano. She, uh, she is uh, an author uh, and she liked my story and I was super excited that I had to write it there. And then we have the June. So June, I don't know if you see it, like the color. So my coffee spilled all over my spread after I had finished it. And I was so, so upset about it. Like you could see the stains of the coffee there, crazy. And <laughs> So I had to like, and I had to take a picture to post it, and I was so upset. So I had I take a picture. I had to take a picture, and I had to like fix the picture so you won't see in the picture all these messes. I was so upset. I was so so upset, and looking at it, I'm upset too also <laughs> because I really didn't want it to be like that. So if you see multiple birthdays that month. Yeah, this last month it was crazy, and then I was reading the Son of Achilles and Age of Pies. Never finished Age of Pies. I think I I was trying to do it as an audiobook. I think I'm just gonna read it on either a Kindle or a paper, probably Kindle. And I really didn't like it when I was uh, listening to it. I no, it wasn't it wasn't meant to be an audiobook. At least not for me. And that's when I started watching Gilmore Girls actually. Okay, and that's the month of June. This is the last month that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, very colorful and summer, summery stickers because, you know, the first day of summer was the 21st of June. And I love it. It's so popping your face with the yellows and the pinks and the reds. Amazing. Love it. Uh, and then we have this one that is like a little bit calm and it's with stickers from uh, Aesthetic Plants first book and I love it it's like if from all the bright it comes like something more calm and everything and Gabby had her first uh, school dance it wasn't it wasn't a successful day actually we discovered that she has uh, a little bit of social anxiety and we have to work over that. There were too many people, too many kids, and it wasn't for her. Uh, the next day we went to Mitsua in Little Japan. Uh, it is by, you, in, uh, it is in a, um, in a town called Edgewater. It's at the edge of the water. <laughs> of the, it's at the edge of the, um, oh my God, the Hudson River. So you can see, you know, New York City in the front. And we like it because it was all like Japanese and everything stuff there in that store that is Mitsuwa. It's like a supermarket. And uh, we love it. Uh, we love going there. 
like I didn't know what to get I was very overwhelmed with everything that I could get and then, especially when I went to little Japan because there's a lot of stationary products and I was just like everywhere uh, Gabby had her last elementary recital she um, is part of the choir and she plays the violin so she did that uh, this is my spread that I made for Planet Darby's uh, challenge. She challenged all of us to use her blooms, her uh, rainbow blooms, in uh, different ways, um, with the concept of a rainbow, sort of. So I made this, um, and uh, I want the challenge. <laughs> I'm super excited because I won the challenge um, and yeah super super excited I, 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 I was excited that a lot of people liked this spread uh, and it was a, but the other spreads from my fellow PR uh, team they are amazing too check out Darby's page so you can check all of them they are beautiful uh, that was my dad's birthday that day uh, apparently I didn't sleep that much uh, we had the bridging for the Girl Scouts. And then I had a me day here. I think I spent it by myself. Yeah, I did. I spent it by myself. Then we have the next week. I love this spread. And a lot of you like this spread on my Instagram page. It is, um, I was on a, I decided to join the challenge from uh, planning from A to C. Um, and she wanted us to do um, lemons. So I make lemons all around. And I love it. It is so in your face. So beautiful. And it was the week of uh, my stepdaughter's 21st birthday. Um, and then we went for Father's Day. In her birthday, we went to Kiku. It's a Japanese restaurant. They wanted that. Um, I've been like I was reading a lot, so I wasn't planning a lot during this week because I was extremely sick. This was like the week where I was so so sick that I couldn't stop coughing non stop. So, um, one of those days I had to stay home because I didn't sleep through the night, it was bad. Oh, you see, and I was watching Gilmore Girls there this week. It's I, did, I didn't write so much and I didn't write so much because by the time I grabbed my planner it was already Sunday I think and I didn't I didn't wrote anything so I had to back plan again and I don't remember what happened and then I forgot about it and then I never grab it again um, but I put the, that was the last day of the fifth grade for Gabby these are stickers from the happy planner and Liv La Pache. Uh, not one of my favorite spreads to be honest it was like eh, blah. i didn't like it that much i don't know why i thought it would have been a nice combination not one of my greatest moments but it's okay uh and um what else oh i love this one this was the last week of june and this was with stickers from lip block posh last uh, year's summer stickers and i love it look at it it's so cute. Even the after it pen is cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, Gilmore Girls. Like, my husband is watching it with me at that point. We went to the mall. Uh, we had so many rainy days. And then we have the Monday was the first day of summer enrichment for Gabby. And she's been loving it to have summer uh, enrichment. That's being a summer enrichment program. And this is the last one that I will show is my currently July. And it's with stickers from uh, Planet Darby. All of them. And they are all celebrating uh, 4th of July. Uh, right now, I'm feeling happy and hopeful. I'm celebrating my husband's 48th birthday that is was the 4th of July actually hoping for better health this month I hopefully I'm getting better so like I don't cough as often um, so it's great and my allergies have gone down you know 
it was for granted that I knew that it was gonna happen because we're in the summer, but because of the air quality also that we've been having uh, here in the north, it's it's been very bad. So my allergies have been bad for a longer time than usual. So hopefully my health gets better. Grateful for my family and the life I have. And I thank the Lord for that. I'm watching Gilmore Girls still. I'm listening to jazz music, audiobooks, and Dave's music. Dave's music, he likes reggaeton and bachatas. Yeah, <laughs> he likes those music. So what can we do? And then reading, I finished reading the song of Achilles this week. So that's it. And um, sneak peek for the month of July. You will see that at the end of the year when I do my recap for the whole, the whole year. And I hope you liked this video and you got some ideas of what to do with a planner, with a vertical planner, or with any planner in, partic uh, in particular that you have. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. All the stores that I use during this fix, uh, these first six months of the year will be in the description below. Thank you. Bye.